I'm going to bring you to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I am a cocktail waitress on the illustrious Gateway Clipper. It is a dinner cruise boat for which I was highly underqualified to work for. Um, you had to basically do three things. You had to show up on the boat before it departed. You had to sort of like flirtatiously present the drink menu, which I was uncomfortable with. <laughs> and um, you had to upsell. And I had begged for this job for five months. Begged for this job. I returned for two interviews. I took two buses to get there. I was living in Oakland as a student at the time. Uh, my rent was only $132 a month. But yeah, awesome. But um, I struggled to pay it because I had this problem with donations. Um, I would, I worked this internship, side note, on um, the juvenile probation office. And through this internship, I met a couple of families who I became attached to uh, and gave all of my money to. So my roommates were like, yeah, you have this really great internship and it's beautiful, but you have no money. So I get this job and uh, I'm raving about it. I'm like, I'm gonna get to watch the sunset every night on the boat. And I get to walk across the bridge on the way there uh, on the city of Three Rivers. And I'm gonna get to interact with all of these different people as they cruise their way through the night on the Gateway Clipper. Well, my roommate, Kersey, goes, so yeah, you're gonna make money too, right? And um, I didn't, because <laughs> what happened was um, all of the food was provided. It was a buffet. And you made your money by selling drinks. And it wasn't like, okay, Bud Light, Miller Light, which was my experience as a college student. You had to sell these, um, it was called the Pilsner Glass. And it were these cheap plastic goblets, I would say, goblets that came in various Mardi Gras colors. And what happened was, if they bought one uh, smoothie extraordinaire named after some sort of famous sailor, like Captain Hook, or uh, I can't think of any other famous sailors right now, but there were several. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I was not good at this job. And <laughs> If they bought one, you would get free refills of soda all night long. <laughs> Goblets of soda. And um, it made no sense. It was a cheap deal. And the only way that people actually got people to buy these things was by making them believe that they would get free alcoholic beverages in goblets all night. Um, so people actually accomplished this by becoming friends with the bartenders and you had to come up with this sort of system where you tip them out at the end of the night. So if I made you know, 50 bucks on my Pilsner glasses and I come for my free soda refill, you're gonna put some free shots of rum in it and these people are gonna be happy with me all night and tip me really well. I was super innocent and honest, and people would ask me about the Pilsner glasses. You know, these parents like taking their little kids and they want the glass because it's pretty. And I'd be like, oh no, it's such a bad deal. Here's what you do. <laughs> and so basically, I was making no money, and the managers knew this. They actually had a map where they mapped out the entire boat for the night, and it was like, the big spenders, the family reunion, the Christian Bible study group, the redhead, the red hat, purple hat, older woman club thing. What is that? And they, they play Jenga on the table. Anyways, so I quickly got demoted to the you know cheap area because I wasn't up sailing. And eventually further demoted to the luncheon cruise, which was a Frank and Dean Sinatra. Uh, sing along. Awesome. I learned lots of good ballads to sing while I was cooking my SpaghettiOs at night because that was all I could afford. Um, anyways, the bottom line is I made no money at this job, but what I did earn was some good stories. I did meet good people. I did get to watch the sunset every night. However, I barely paid my $132.50 rent every single week, but it happens. Mm -hmm.